Right now, you, I'm charging you 2,000 every minute you have me here. Personally, I'm gonna come after you personally. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Well, for, for what? Stop. Go, go over there, Matt. Go over there. Personally. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we head to Greenwich, a neighborhood in Jupiter, Florida, where a softset who claims to be an American national manages to turn a simple parking violation warning into a ticket for parking in front of a fire hydrant. I know it's not exactly the crime of the century, but he pulls the sovereign citizen defense, which includes the obligatory call for a supervisor, statutes and codes and law, and the cherry on top of the cake, threatening to charge the cop $2,000 per minute for detaining him. All right. Okay, now who am I talking to? Now? Correct. All right, perfect. We'll start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Officer Swift, badge 172. Mm -hmm. I'm stopping right now to give you a ticket because you're parked in front of a fire hydrant mm -hmm. in a no parking zone. You want to just get the get the hydrant on camera. But, okay, we can get the hydrant on camera. Hydrant on camera. Mm -hmm, okay. Correct. All right, so mm -hmm. you have your license registration insurance on you? Um, Once again, now, what do I need a license and registration for? For identification reasons? Yes. And why do you want to identify me? Well, you're in a no parking zone in front of a hydrant. Um, but... So this can go one oh, of two ways. Yeah, yeah, it could. It can it go can. one of two ways. It can, right? it can. You can say... Mm -hmm. All right, here you go. I go back to the truck. Mm -hmm. Your information's good. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Am I committing a crime? Up? Am I committing a crime? Are you here picking someone up? Am I committing a crime? All right, that's what you're gonna do. Is, no, I'm. I'm giving you. I'm giving Sit you. Eyes okay, that's fine. And may you call a supervisor to the scene as well, please. A supervisor is not necessary for a parking violation. I'm sure the officer can deal with that himself. Of course, soft sits think that supervisors know the quote-unquote truth about the law and will agree with them and then correct their officer's mistake. I mean, how many times have we seen that happen? Oh, that's right, not once. Yeah, can we get a supervisor to the scene, please? Right. A second, do I see what? Fire and I need you to, can you, can you repeat your um, badge number and your name one more time as well? I already gave it to you, sir. Could you, pardon Did me? you identify yourself? Huh? You didn't identify yourself. You want me to identify myself right now? My name is Yusuf. Excellent. Okay. Your last name and date of birth. My name is Yusuf. You asked me to identify myself. Okay. I gave you my first name. Perfect. Now, what is your name and your badge number again? No, excuse, could you say it for the camera, please? I already gave it to you. I need you to say it again. Because I don't remember. So now you're telling me I'm required to repeat it to you six times? No, what I'm telling you is if I'm having a conversation with you. I tried helping you. What's your name? D Vasquez 199, badge number 199. D Vasquez. What are you talking about? Listen to him making all these demands. Who does he think he is? It's not this cop's problem if you didn't or couldn't hear him the first six times he repeated his name and badge number. I'll go figure out who I am real quick. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this so-called ID card. It says Royal Tribe of Indigenous Aboriginals, Enhanced Tribal Identification. It says I Self Law am Master. He claims to be a bear, which is the name self-described Moorish Americans give themselves. But there's also the American national flag there below his photograph and the video title says American national. It also claims tax exemption with a phone number below it. This card is so confusing and trying so hard to look authentic that it just comes off as comical. Excuse me. Are you the sergeant? Uh, just step below, Sergeant. I'm on the phone with the Sergeant right now. May I get your name and your badge number two since you're on the scene? Yeah. Uh, Officer Pesh, badge number 452. Officer? Pesh? Nice to meet you, boss, man. Nice to meet you. Is your camera on as well? Yep. Thank I don't yeah. see nothing beeping. That's why I don't see the red light flashing off or nothing like that. It's hard to see in the sunlight. Oh, but if it is, I appreciate you. I'm calling for my safety as well. All right. Appreciate you, boss. Are you waiting for somebody to pick up? Um, waiting for somebody to pick up? Yeah. It really well, doesn't. Someone pulls in here, they usually get someone to pick up. Yeah, I'm just waiting. All right. Doing nothing illegal. 
no, it's no. a traffic violation. No, yeah. And you're trying to give me a trying to give me a ticket and run my license for what? You want me to show you? Huh? You want me to show you? What you want you me to keep recording now? Huh? You gotta keep recording now. What, what you want to show me? I already I recorded the fire hydrant. This is the sergeant right here, Sergeant O'Neill. Sergeant O'Neill, how you doing, boss man? How you feeling today? What's up, boss? Well, I have your, I have your, uh, are you pulling out, are you pulling out violations? Well, um, I have your officer right here. Yeah. Your workers right here. Yep. Trying to give me a ticket right, because, right, because right. I'm parked by a fire hydrant. Yeah. Back up, because I never said I was giving you a ticket, right? Y yes, you did. Oh, I got you recorded. To be fair, he is correct. He did say he was going to write him the ticket. It was literally the first thing the officer said after giving his name and badge number. I'm sure many of you caught that as well, but I just wanted to point that one out. We, we, we can bring it back all over. Don't worry. We can, we can, we can, we can, we can, we can, yeah, we can bring it back all over again. We having a, we having a civil conversation. Come on. You, you think so? You wanted me here to speak to Aren't you, oh, wait, aren't you serving me? Oh, here we go with the semantics. Yes, he serves you, but not in the way you are trying to portray. He serves the people of the town or city he works in. Wording it like that is an attempt to emasculate and just makes you sound petty and dumb. Hey, you want to talk to a supervisor? I'm here now, so talk to me. Correct. Okay? What's up? Uh, could you get him in line first, please? We're, we're past that. Talk to me. What's up? All right, so basically what I'm telling you off the officer is he shouldn't be giving me a ticket at all and i told him right now you i'm charging you two thousand every minute you have me here personally i'm gonna come after you personally oh really well i've got about as much chance of charging and collecting two thousand dollars per second from you for the pain and suffering i enjoyed making this video covering all your bs than you ever have of charging this cop for writing that ticket Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Well, for, for what? Stop. Go go over there, Matt. Go over there. Personally. For what? I want his name. What's his name and his badge number one more time? I can't read that far. You, 172. 172? Yeah. His name? Officer Swift. Officer Swift? Okay. Yep. So does this soft sit or soft sits in general have some kind of memory problem or something? Is it a prerequisite to becoming a soft sit? Because they keep repeating the same questions over and over. That officer gave his name and badge number when he first walked up to your vehicle. So either rewatch your video or read the ticket because his details will be all over it. Oh, but wait, this soft sit has a genius idea on how to avoid this ticket later on in the video. I can't believe nobody has ever thought of this tactic, and I think it's going to blow you all away. So he's trying to give me a ticket. Yeah. For being here, he asked me for my license. What caused him for, for him to ask me for my license? Am I committing a crime? Uh, you're committing a violation. A violation? Yeah. Of what? You're parked in a no parking zone. Okay, and I'm sitting in the vehicle. It's in park, right? Okay. Okay. And what does that mean? That you're parked in a no parking zone. Okay, so that caused you a right to give me a ticket. Yeah, it's a parking ticket. It's like twenty. How is it? A, how, it, it doesn't matter what it is. Okay, and how about a parking ticket, like a uh, orange violation ticket? Uh, it doesn't matter. I, I mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Right now, you contracting with me, and you're not gonna give me a What's, ticket. What do you mean contracting? What do I mean contract? Right now, you command trust fraud. Okay. I'm gonna let you know that right now. Okay. Let me ask you, are you a sovereign citizen? No, I'm not at all. Okay. I'm American national. Two sides of the same coin, dude. It's virtually impossible to tell the difference between a regular soft and American nationals. They all make the same claims and use the same tired old arguments. However, American nationals like Moors, which is another giant rabbit hole which I'm not going to get into today, claim to be indigenous. But now, this sergeant, for some reason, is interested in those differences, so he does his very best to explain what they are. Only kidding, he has no idea, so he instead diverts the conversation back to the reason for the stop. What's that? What, what's the difference? I don't understand the difference. You know, you understand the difference. No, I don't. I'm genuinely asking you. Okay, I'm not a sovereign citizen. Okay. I, I just want you to know that. But is it the same thing as an American No, no, it's, no. It's, okay. No, it's not. Okay. Two different things. How is it? How does it? How is it different? Does it matter? Are you trying to give me a ticket? Yes or no? I'm trying to educate myself. We have a job to enforce yeah, 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 correct, laws. Correct. This right here is a no parking. Okay. Zone. It's and what? What's that? And what statue is this? Do you want to talk to me? 
Yeah, I do want to talk to you, okay. but I want, I want to know what so statue is. So the conversation is me talking back to you, and I'm explaining the situation to you. You are currently parked inside mm -hmm. a yellow line, mm -hmm. which delineates a no parking zone. Mm -hmm. There are words here that say no parking. Okay. There's also a fire hydrant here in Connecticut. Can State I ask statue. you a question? Is that law? Yes, yes. Is it. that law? Ten is that a law? Feet, Ten feet within a fire hydrant. Is that law? How many times are what? you going to ask me the same question? Yes, it's uh, law. How is that law? You can't park within 10 feet of a fire hydrant. You park within 10 feet of a fire hydrant. That's a statue. On, You're trying to sell me a statue right now. He's trying to sell you a statue. That statement doesn't make any sense in this context. And it's statute, not statue. I know that's a minor issue, but they keep mispronouncing it and it's really annoying. Also, statutes are defined as a written law passed by a legislative body and no amount of denial will change that. You're parked in a no parking zone. Okay. So what's so what's what, what 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 agreement are we coming to? That you're gonna get a the parking ticket. No, I'm not gonna get a parking ticket. Okay. I won't get a parking ticket at all. Okay. And you won't hand me a parking ticket neither. Okay. At all. It's not happening. And there's that genius idea I was talking about earlier. Just deny the ticket exists, and if anything resembling a ticket comes anywhere near you, just refuse to touch it. I told you it was a genius idea. I mean, yeah, you can refuse to accept it, I guess, but that's not exactly going to stop it from being issued, and any action that comes after that. But you're forgetting one important detail. If you hadn't pulled this sovereign citizen BS in the first place, then maybe you could have driven away with just a warning. But you instead had to be a dick and threaten the cop with your hilarious fake $2,000 charge. Have you identified I, yourself? Huh? Yes, I did. I told him my name is Yusuf. Okay. Last name, date of birth. I don't need, you don't need my last name or date of birth. Okay. What's up? Talk to me. What's up? What's going on? Um, you're going to get a parking ticket. All right. I'm not going to get a parking ticket. The difference between a parking ticket and an infraction ticket is monetary only. Pardon me? Is, mon is money. And I know. An correct. An infraction ticket is correct. Like what? So basically, so, 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 so basically how it goes is yeah. right now you charging me for my time and I'm letting you know you're being charged for my time right now. Is that a part of the American national thing? You want to check my you, you want to check my fee schedule. You want to check the UCC. Yeah, do you have one? Huh? Do you have one on you? Oh, you want to see one? Yeah, do you have it? <laughs> Of course he has a fee schedule, which of course is completely worthless and a waste of trees and printer ink. Do you think I'm playing with you, man? I really want to educate myself. What is it? How are you charging? You can, can you can give me your car and we can we can have further conversation because you have the same rates as well. You understand what I'm saying? I appreciate you, boss. Thank you. Um. Okay. So I, let's let's just call it that I I don't understand what you're you're explaining to me about what I'm me. what I'm trying to tell you right now basically is that I'm not committing no crime I'm sitting here part and nobody's saying anything about you committing crimes the only person bringing that up is you but it is against the law to park in front of a fire hydrant for obvious reasons and the fact that you don't see this as an issue makes you petty i mean is this the hill you really want to die on this is not a big deal and it's even less of a deal if you handle it like an adult i'm not taking that ticket and don't put this in that in this vehicle at all please i asked you nicely no thank you no thank you i don't want it and if you if you put it if you put it in this vehicle i'm going to put it back outside the vehicle i'll give you a citation for littering and you, you Oh, come on, man. Why did you have to tell him about the citation for littering? The look on his face when you issued him another ticket would have been priceless. We have, Respectfully. We now, have, we now have four officers tied up on that. That's fine. You have me tied up as well. Right, you you, you run on my you time listen, as well. Please. Correct. Okay, listen, yes. I listen to you. Just please give me 10 seconds. Here. Yes, sir. I right. appreciate you. This is the parking ticket for mm -hmm. the parking violation. All right. You're going to take the ticket. I'm not going to take the you ticket. Can, you can you trying to run away. You, try you can walk over to any garbage can and throw no. it off. Don't throw it on the ground. Um, pardon me? And then you're going to move the car. Pardon me? All right. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do, right? Because I don't want you to uh, pee on me. I'm going to roll my window up a little bit. You're not going to give me a parking ticket. And don't put it in this window. I'm going to tell you again. Because I just try to be nice to you. And you're still trying to contract with me and play no, with me. Mentally, I'm not getting a parking ticket at all. 
It don't matter. You leave it on the window, it's still not gonna get paid. And I'll see all y'all. Oh, hold on, wait, wait. wait. All it is one, ticket, two, three, four. We don't, we don't care so why are you trying to give it to me for then? Because he's because because well, you working for the no? Because you working for the state, correct? Oh, uh, we work oh. for the town of Grand Town. It doesn't matter. And this is not a state. This yes, it is. Up. Yeah, it's not a state. No, it's not. Look at it. What? Look it at doesn't it. matter. It's a town of Greenwich ticket. It's not a state of Okay. Ticket. And you're enforcing this ticket, correct? By handing you the ticket, by giving, by issuing the ticket. Right, and guess what? You're not going to issue me a ticket, is what I'm telling you. No, he is. No, he's not. You're going to move your car. No, you're going to tell me I'm going to move my car and he's not going to give me a ticket. You're not going to tell me what you want me to do. Okay. I can comply with you, but he's not giving me a ticket. Okay. I'm going to move this vehicle, correct? Because I have to leave anyway. Okay. Well, but he's not giving me a ticket. Okay. Is he really still doing this? Yeah, the ticket has already been written out, so it's childish to think that not accepting it will somehow stop it from being enforced. I appreciate you, Sarge. And, and let it go unpaid, and then when he comes back, they can put a boot on it. <laughs> oh, you think so? You think so? You chose not to take a parking ticket that's going to get turned in. You, I don't know you, what you think so? Can give you. you didn't give it to me. No, you didn't take it. I didn't have to take it. So we'll stick it in your trunk then. Pop your trunk. We'll put it in the trunk. Why would I pop? <laughs> All right, move your car. I appreciate you, boss. Thank you. Move your car. I will. I will. Thank you. All that time and energy wasted and he still drove away with a parking ticket issued against him whether he accepted it or not. And this guy even has the gift of the gab so he could have easily talked his way out of that ticket. But he let the sovereign citizen BS get in the way of all that and he tied up four officers, one a sergeant, all for his own ego. But that's what soft sits do, they love making mountains out of molehills and proudly upload that ignorance to the internet for us all to laugh at. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave me a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. It really does mean a lot. Right, take care all and I will catch you in the next video.